This is a way which is gonna help you so much. You are gonna end up doing this forever because it changes the way your whole face looks. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Today's video is all about how to wear a bold lip color, but not only that, it's also about the correct order of makeup when you wanna wear bold lip color. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so please do come say hi there too. Now let's head straight into the video. This is the kind of look that I absolutely love and I know you guys are going to love it. Now, even though it is a bold lip colour, I'm showing you how you can wear that. So I'm going to be doing a full base because I feel like your base has to be a certain way. Well, it doesn't have to, but I feel like it always looks much more kind of like clean and simple. So anyway, let's get on with it. I have no makeup on at the moment and you may have noticed that I have lash extensions on. And I know you're probably wondering why because I have my own lash brand, but I'd say for the next like two months or so from now, it actually started from like a couple of weeks weeks ago it's super super busy because we're in the middle of moving and there's just a lot going on and I don't want to be messing around with lashes at the moment and I don't usually get lash extensions because I like to like scrub my face so it's hard at the moment with them but at the same time I've kind of like figured out a certain routine and you know it seems to be pretty easy so that's why I'm wearing lash extensions and by the way the only place I would get them done is a salon in Dubai called Snob if you guys want to check them out I have put their link in the description below if you're ever in Dubai because I know a lot of you guys are in the US and I love it I love you guys but if you ever do visit Dubai then make sure you do head over to that salon because honestly it's so cute inside it's really nice it's like just very airy and I think you're gonna love it and the services are amazing and they, they always make you feel like amazing so anyway let's move on I have nothing on my skin you can probably tell my tan is kind of like gone as well it's like slowly fading but it always fades from my face first it's probably faded from my face first because I did recently have my radio frequency microneedling which I think I mentioned in another video where I still had the kind of like scars left from it the scars are fully healed I literally cannot wait till my next treatment. I'm filming the whole thing for you guys. So I'll go into that on that video, which shows all four sessions, but so far loving it. So we're gonna be doing this a little bit differently because I want to show you how you can get the perfect base with a bold lip color. So we're gonna be kind of like starting the base off, obviously with skincare first, then go on to the bold lip color. And then we're finishing off because that gives us an idea of how far we can go with everything on the base. And then I can honestly guarantee you that you will love this technique, this method, because because it will just make it so much easier to wear a bold lip. So let's get started. I am gonna be using my Oasis Bright from Wind. It's actually a new serum which I've started to use and I'm loving it. I did put a reel up recently on my Instagram so you can go check that out. Yeah, it's something which basically gives you that kind of boost of hydration as most wind products do. It's a multi brightening serum. So it has 10% vitamin C in there. So there's a lot of vitamin C packed into this product. But what the best thing is about this is it actually works on any skin type. So you know, you may have heard that some people can't really tolerate vitamin C. I'm one of those people. This has been completely fine on my skin. It also helps with dullness. If you suffer from a bit of dullness and you want your skin to be a lot brighter. The thing that really stands out for me is the fact that it treats sun damage, which is great for me. It also helps to reduce dark spots, sunspots. It's smoothing on the skin as well. And it's also great if you have any redness, which sometimes I can suffer from. I'm okay at the moment, but I do have that kind of like sun damage that I'm trying to kind of like help to recover. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and what's great is you can actually use this it's like a dropper you can use this morning and night so I'm just going to like smooth this over my hand and then I like to just press this in now that I've got that on and I've let that kind of like sink into the skin I'm going in with my moisturizer which is my Marrakesh which you guys know how much I love this moisturizer using my drunk elephant multivitamin eye cream just getting a small amount of this just smoothing it around my eyes. Now I also want some SPF, but I do want to get a bit of coverage with that too. So I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics CC Cream. You guys know how much I love this. I'm using my Sigma Beauty F47 brush. Remember guys, this is the ultimate foundation brush. <laughs> Honestly, this is all you need. It's amazing. So make sure you head over to Sigma and grab one because honestly, it's gonna make everything so much easier when it comes to your base. So this is the F47 Multitasker brush. Don't forget you get 10% off with Nina Ubi 10. And if you click on the link below, you know, you can just see what offers are on, on the general website. Now, okay, let's move on. So this has got SPF 40. This is actually a slightly lighter shade that I, than I usually use. This is neutral tan. And I'm basically gonna just apply this all over. The reason it's 
slightly lighter is because I have kind of like lightened up a bit. Like my tan isn't as like golden as much as I love it. I'm literally just, see how amazing this brush is? I'm literally just smoothing this on. There's a couple of different ways I use this CC cream. So one is when I literally just don't want to have to use foundation and stuff. And you know, like say if I'm going somewhere very quickly and I just very quickly put this on. But the other way is what I'm going to show you, which is basically this as my base. And then I basically go over with my concealer. I'm going to show you everything. And then I try, I, if I feel like I need a bit of warmth, like a bit of golden finish to my face, then I'll add a little bit of a like really nice golden foundation, very small amount, just to kind of like buff everything in. But this is my main kind of like base because it's giving me SPF, but also giving me whatever coverage that I kind of like need. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Concealer in Warm Beige. Just gonna apply a little bit on my eyelids because they're looking pretty dark. Now I'm using a small mini beauty blender because obviously I've got these like lash extensions on and I don't want to smear foundation or I mean concealer all over them. So just kind of like buffing this in. Now I'm just gonna get a bit of my banana powder from Ben Eye and got my powder puff. I'm just gonna like press it onto my eyelids and then just dust it away with my Real Technique setting brush, very lightly so that you're not kind of moving the concealer around. So you can see how that's given us a nice even finish on the eyelids now, but obviously we need to deal with these like bad boys here. So let's go ahead with that. Now I always feel like the Too Faced concealer is not really good enough coverage for my under eyes. It kind of like, it's too fluid. It kind of goes all over the place. So I always feel like I need a slightly thicker concealer to cover up my dark circles. And then I kind of like add a little bit of this sometimes if I want to kind of warm it up. So at the moment I'm using my Hourglass Beach Concealer, the Vanish Concealer, but I'm going to put a very, because this is too light for me, but it's going to be great for covering up my dark circles. So just a kind of little bit along here. That's going to help to just brighten that area and then get my Too Faced Concealer. I'm just kind of like smear it in the middle so that gives me a bit of warmth see the color difference there you can use your one concealer you don't have to do all of this if you don't want to but you can use like whatever concealer that you use i'm just showing you what my current technique is for this type of look now i'm going to just start buffing it and what i'm doing is just kind of like pressing it onto the under eye area and that hourglass vanish concealer gives me amazing coverage and then that warmth of the Too faced concealer kind of like it just makes it less thick as well as well as giving it that warmth now this is where i get my really warm foundation which is my tarte base tape in 47s tan deep sand and i basically put a really small amount on the back of my hand literally just not even a full pump and then all i'm doing is just kind of like warming my face all over so i'm smearing it onto the sponge and then just applying it all over. See that way I've got my SPF underneath, which is giving me that base coverage. And this is kind of like just warming everything up and tying everything in together. Now this whole kind of like technique gives me amazing coverage for one thing, but also it gives me like amazing staying power. Trust me, if you do it in this way, it's gonna like stay put and it doesn't look cakey. That's warmed up my face really nicely. Just got my powder and my powder puff. Let's set the under eye first. I don't really wanna spread the powder out everywhere. I just wanna kind of like spread it out with the brush after. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Veil brush and I'm just like whatever's left in my hand and dusting it all over my face so it doesn't give me a super matte finish. And you'll see, initially it will be super matte, but then after a little while, it starts to look really nice and like kind of like healthy skin, which looks great with a bold lip. Very quickly, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm using my Benefit Brow Pencil in 04, and I'm not gonna really make them too dark. I just wanna kind of shape them because you can always kind of adjust it after you've done your bold lip. I just like to draw hair strokes through it. Okay, so brows are done. Now this is the part where we're actually gonna be doing the lips now. So we haven't done any kind of like sculpting, bronzing, blush, eye makeup, anything else. We haven't contoured the nose. We're gonna go straight to the bold lip. And now this is where this, this method or this order of doing things really does help you out. And it gives you a lot more kind of control on how your finished look looks. So sometimes you may find when you do a bold lip, you obviously, it's the last thing that you actually put on your lipstick, but you'll find that, okay, everything looks a bit too much or it looks a bit like scary. This is a way which is gonna 
going to help you so much. You are going to end up doing this forever because it changes the way your whole face looks. Because what we've done is we've applied our base and you can do that however you want to do your base. But before you do any finishing touches other than the brows, because I like to do them first, you can actually end up choosing how your finished look is going to look. So you know that your base isn't going to look OTT. You know that you can kind of like sculpt it according to match the bold lip. It all depends on the color you're using as well, I feel. This is how we are going to do it. So we're going to go straight ahead with using our lip liner because I love lip liner. So I'm actually using my Walk of No Shame from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to line my lips. So I'm st I always start from the middle and then I work my way around here and then like that. And then I go like that. I do normally start from the middle there at the bottom as well. I like to round my humps on my lips. I don't like them to be pointy. Now, when I am wearing bold lip, I like the lip liner to be quite thick because it gives me a lot of kind of like depth to work with. Like I can actually give it more depth from the outside in. So this way I know that it's also going to stay in place. So that's why I've made it so thick. I actually really like it like that. And just making sure I get those corners in. I'm gonna go for my Makeup Forever new matte lipstick. These are amazing, they're so nice. They don't actually feel overly dry on your skin or your lips either. This shade is probably my favorite one. It's the 442. I love it. It's just like a really nice bright red. I like the fact that you can actually just use the applicator because it's just perfectly shaped. I love this kind of like orangey red. Now we're gonna make this a little bit darker. We're gonna go back to our lip pencil and we're just gonna start shading in from the lip line. So just dragging inwards. See how that gives it more depth? Now that initial lip line helps to give it a nice clean edge and it's gonna hold everything in place. Then we apply the lipstick, we take it up into the lip line but not above and over. And then we go in with the lip liner again but we feather it inwards and it gives it the most amazing depth and it just doesn't look so flat. So this is your nice bold lip. Now this is where we can start applying the rest of the face. So now the first thing I usually do is sculpt the face because now this gives me a good idea of how much sculpting I want. You guys must have done it too when you finish your whole base and then you go in with your lipstick right at the end and you're like okay I sculpted way too much there's too much bronzer in comparison with the lip this is a good way to kind of it gives you an idea of how far you can go I'm gonna use my it's cosmetics bye bye pores bronzer in beach and my veil brush the small side of it and this is where I'm just gonna like very lightly buff this in so I'm starting from the top of my ear because this gives me an idea of how much I can go ahead with and I can tell you I can guarantee you if I had put this on before I did my lip color you've probably seen me in most of my videos do it. I go full on with my bronzer because I absolutely love it this seems more or less enough for me so I would never have stopped at this point had I applied my bronzer to begin with. So it's actually amazing how you realize that you go all in before you finish your face. So sometimes if you feel like you've done something a little bit OTT, then do that last because then what happens is you've got everything else that's put together and then you have a better idea of how far you can go with it. Next, I'm gonna use my Shady Biz bronzer and my Fenty 200 brush. I'm just gonna like sculpt my nose. So my usual technique for this is a little diamond with a gap at the top. So there you go little gap at the top there kind of like pinches the bulbous part of my nose and then just up the sides of the bridge of the nose now I also don't want to go too heavy with this and I would have actually continued there had I have not had my lips on now I don't want blush on because it's going to be a bit much with this lip but what I do want is a little bit of glow so I'm going to use my Tom Ford highlighter and this is my Zoeva 234 brush just going to like put a little bit on the tip of my nose and just along here now my Zoeva 134 brush into the same highlight and this is where I am going to actually kind of just highlight the very peaks of my cheekbones. I, I really love this kind of skin with a red lip or with a bold lip. I just feel like everything, like your, even if you don't have perfect skin, you can still kind of like try and give it that kind of glass finish, even though, you know, it's not like the kind of glass skin that we see on Instagram and stuff, you know, like where it's just like skin and it's, you know, not all of us have amazing skin. So I'm just gonna, I just like to take this over to a little bit above the brow because it's just the, nat it's the natural place where the light bounces off. And I feel like it just makes your face 
look less flat. Now we do want a little bit of mascara on these lower lashes. See how we don't have to do anything with these, full, these lash extensions? It's pretty good. But I do love changing my style, which is why I've always loved false lashes. So, you know, like some days I won't want this type of look. Some days I might want it a little bit flared. So it's still really good if you don't have time. I wouldn't suggest getting it all the time. You've got to give your lashes a break, I think, as well. Like once I've had a top up on these, give it another two months and then I'm going to go back to my false lashes. But if I'm ever busy, then I don't mind having lash extensions. And if I did, then it's only going to be at that salon because I trust them. Okay, now just to finish off our skin, I'm going to add a spray. So I'm using my Oasis Veil from Wind. I do really love this because as you guys know, orange blossom and all that, but also hydration and it's like a serum in a bottle. Yes, I've been through loads of bottles. See how this just like gives it that extra glow? It does kind of settle down. It's not gonna be like this throughout. So this is basically something I really wanted to show you. And ultimately, you guys, I'm sure, know how to do a bold lip. So that wasn't my main priority here. My priority was really showing you how changing the order of your makeup can completely change how that bold lip look in general looks. So I really do hope you've taken that away from this and you try it out yourself. Even if it isn't a bold lip, even if it's something else that you feel like you usually go a bit OTT with, put it on last and I can guarantee it will change the whole way it looks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. As always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.